Hey guys, got another weekly update for you. Sorry we missed you guys last week. Things got crazy. Um, trying to get event forms turned in and um, getting ready for hunting season. I think you guys can relate to that. So probably not the last one we're going to miss this year um, going into event and hunting seasons, but I'm going to try to get these updates to you every week as well as I can. Um, Chief and I snuck out of state. Um, Got on to some teal, got to hunt with some Delta Waterfowl volunteers and other regional directors, had a really good time over the long weekend. Got on the birds, had some really good hunts. Um, migration update across the board, a lot of guys did good opening day, and then a lot of the birds got shot out. We actually had to move around a little bit, find some new birds after the opener, um, but we were able to stay on them. As you can see here, we're starting to get into a couple green wings, um, which is usually a sign that the bulk of the blue wings are south of us. And that's the report I'm hearing. Tons of birds in Missouri. Everywhere it's got water, has got teal. Uh, Kansas just got some good rain this past week. Find the water, it's going to have teal. There's teal stacking up all the way down into Louisiana right now. So should be really good this next weekend. You got a chance. Get out in the mornings this week. Find some water. You're probably going to find some teal. Should be able to have a really good hunt opening day. So get out and scout a little bit. Make sure you get out in the marsh. Get on some birds. Um, Delta waterfowl update. We had a absolutely incredible event over in El Dorado, Kansas last week. That chapter almost doubled their income from last year. We had an incredible turnout. It was a great time. Uh, everybody had a blast. Huge shout out to that chapter for pulling that event off. Um, it was awesome. What a way to kick off the event season. Looking into the future, we got two events coming up, two big ones at the end of September. September 24th on Friday is the Mo River Valley Chapters Banquet over in Blue Springs, Missouri. That's going to be at the Stony Creek Hotel and Conference Center, right there off of I-70 by Bass Pro. Guys, this is one of the biggest events in the region. Huge turnout every year. They've got tons of stuff. Shields is our title sponsor. They donate tons of incredible gear. We got deer hunting stuff, duck hunting stuff. We got stuff for the ladies. Um, everything you could want, we're going to have it there at the banquet. Tons of guns. We've got guns, y'all. We got shotgun shells. We got the whole bit. Make sure you don't miss out on it. Um, Saturday, the 25th. Higginsville, Missouri. That event was an absolute barn burner last year. It was their first one last year. This one's shaping up to be even bigger. It's going to be over at Arcadian Moon Winery, um, right there off of I-70 in Higginsville. Beautiful venue. We got tons of great stuff, tons of guns, everything you'd need for hunting season. We got stuff for the ladies, too. Get you grouped together. Buy a table. Both of those events have awesome sponsor gifts if you buy a table. So even if you're not really looking for advertising, you just want to get a group of buddies together and win a really cool gift right off the bat, look at getting a table for those events. All right, I got a quick tip for you guys today. Um, I get a lot of questions about being on the road, what I do with my birds as I'm hunting. Um, and it's something you really need to pay attention to. You know, uh, possession limits, I think, for pretty much all of uh, the U.S. is three times the daily bag limit. Um, all of your birds have to be tagged. Um, you got to have all your contact info on there, um, where they were harvested, the date, your license number, stuff like that. You really need to be keeping track of this. What I do when I'm in the field, um, I keep a box of gallon size Ziplocs. I keep a Sharpie marker and, of course, a pocket knife in my truck all the time. Um, I like to pluck my birds. I like to leave the skin on their breasts. I think it adds a lot of flavor um, to the meat. So what I do when I'm just kind of field processing these birds to throw them in the cooler, first thing I do is I'm going to pluck the breast on these teal, right? Um, I like to do that in a parking lot where it's not going to make a ton of uh, mess at the boat ramp, you know, get it out of the way where you're not leaving feathers everywhere. Um, you can even do this out in the marsh right when you're done hunting. Um, that way you're not making a mess. I pluck them all the way up into the armpits. I, I usually don't pluck the whole bird because um, I usually just cut the breast out with the skin on. Once those birds are breasted, I'll then make a cut right behind the breastplate at the bottom of it with my knife right across here. I'll then gut the bird, throw the guts off in the weeds. Once you get all that done, get all your birds gutted and plucked, you can put them in a bag. Teal are really cool. You can put three in each bag. They fit in there great. Um, then I write all of my tag info on the outside of the bag, my name, license number, address, date of harvest, county of harvest. Um, and then I think you need a signature on there as well. Squeeze all the air out, stick it in a cooler, keep them on ice. They're good to go until you get home um, when you can finish breasting them out and get them ready for the pan. Um, just 
please tag your birds, pay attention to possession limits when you're on the road, especially if you're traveling across state lines, you can get in a bunch of trouble if you don't have your stuff straight. I see guys all the time going on trips and breasting out birds and that's just a recipe for getting a really big ticket. So um, gotta keep a wing attached um, at all times. So if you want to, you can pull that breastplate off, but you need to keep a wing attached on all those birds um, and just make sure you're staying within the law. Good luck this year out in the field, guys. If you get a chance, go to a Delta banquet, support the local chapters, support Waterfowl Conservation and the Duck Hunters Organization. We really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good week. Get out in the marsh, have fun, be safe.